Good morning. Jesus is hanging on the cross. What happens next? We're looking at the Gospel of Mark, and we are at uh, verse 42. Now, when evening had come, because it was the preparation day, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a prominent council member who was himself waiting for the kingdom of God coming and taking courage, went in to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate marveled that he was already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him if he had been dead for some time. So when he found out from the centurion, he granted the body to Joseph. Then he brought fine linen, took him down, and wrapped him in the linen, and he laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of the rock, and rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. And Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph observed where he was laid. So this is Mark 15, verses 42 to 47. And Jesus has died on the cross, and now what? So there was no person in Jerusalem, in all Jerusalem, in all Judea, at this time, more hated by the, by the Hebrew religious leaders than Jesus. And so, that's what we've got. He, an innocent man, had been crucified under the authority of Rome and at the instigation of the Hebrew leaders. He went to the cross tortured and abused, never once in his life having sinned. He defeated Satan by never sinning in his whole life. And he's tortured and he goes to the cross. And even there he says, Father, forgive them. They really don't grasp what's going on here. They don't know what they're doing. Jesus knew what he was doing. And now a rich and important man, a member of the high council, Joseph goes to Pilate and asks if he can take the body of Jesus and treat it with some respect and dignity and take it and bury it. So there's an inquiry made, how can he be dead already? But he is. And so the body is granted to Joseph, and he takes it and he puts it in this tomb, and he, Jesus is buried there. It's, it's right on the edge of the Sabbath, and they get it in there just in time. They don't have time to prepare all the, the grave clothes and so on, so that's going to come uh, on the first day of the week after the Sabbath. Well, so they think. But we'll come to that. So here's, here's Joseph who does a very important thing, respecting Jesus. In just a matter of hours, Jesus is going to rise from the dead on the first day of the week. And we'll have to wait for that until tomorrow morning. But we'll look at Mark 16, verses 1 to 8. Then, God be with you today. Well, let's pray together before we go. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that uh, Jesus goes into the tomb, but he's not going to stay there. Thank you that Joseph was willing to be bold when, uh, when the most hated person there was so mistreated. Joseph rises to the occasion and treats Jesus with dignity and respect. Lord, help us to be willing to stick our neck out like Joseph did and be totally true and faithful to Jesus who died for us. Thank you for hearing our prayer today, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So God be with you today as we come back tomorrow morning and see what happens next. Something to think about today. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the morning. God be with you.